the journey of yoga has its arduous way and definitely filmmaking does as well. Agni Yogana was the first film I've ever made. Although I did a, a very long time ago a um, video on shadow yoga which featured Chandra Remate, but this was 15 years ago in a very different context to what I made with Agni Yogana. As a first time filmmaker, I, it was another path and another journey and definitely I learnt a lot along the way. I had this idea, I want to make this film, I want people to learn when they watch this film and I'll just make the film. And then I realised, well, you can't you just make the film, but there's a lot of factors that come into just making a film. And most likely, if I had researched it more, maybe I wouldn't have made the film. <laughs> um, it was a great journey for me, not just creatively, but also what I learnt about myself on that journey of making this film. And in the beginning, you know, you always have a concept and a creative idea of what you want to bring across, but of course that changed in the edit. So once I'd gathered all my material, once I brought the script together, once I got into the edit with Lindy Harrison, it was a very different story of how that film came to life. And it's in the edit that things actually do come to life. And originally my concept was, well, the original concept was still very much there, but the whole message changed as the edit started happening. And for me, it was always to be a visual journey. Purely because I also worked with imagery and with photography, it was always a collage. And because Hatha Yoga is also Tantra, and Tantra means to weave, my feeling was that I wanted to have that concept in the film that there was a weaving of images. And within that weaving of images, people got a glimpse and an understanding from these masters that I interviewed who live these practices in modern time to help them on their path. And I feel like that came alive with the picture edit and then the music really brought the meditative aspect into the film. 